And believe me, you are in for a visual treat in Madisonville. It's time for six chainsaw artists to work their magic. Colby Ferguson is the Director of Communications for Hopkins County Tourist and Convention Commissions. Good to see you again. Good to be here. It's always a pleasure. Well, this is such an exciting event. So tell us the story about bringing them to Madisonville. Yeah, so they had an event, the same company had an event in Owensboro last year, and we were just in awe over the talent that they brought in for these wood, wood carvings. So we're excited to bring them to Madisonville this year. Um, it will be September 27th and 28th. Two days, so two big days. It's the newest addition to Harvest Fest, which is held at Mar Park there in Madisonville. It's gorgeous arboretum any time of year, but in the fall it just shines. It is such a pretty place and a great place for any kind of event. So are you going to be down near the, where the playground is or where will you be in the park? So it'll be right across the road from Barn B. Um, when it'll be up, th you'll drive up past the park, up through past the Welcome Center, and they actually will have their hay bales out for their hay bale trail that time whenever this event's going on. So it'll be great drive through the park to go up there and see it. Bring the family. That's family. right. So are they, do they have a challenge, each of the of the artists? I mean, are they competing with so each other? This event isn't a competition, okay. but we will have six carvers. So they are coming in from, of course, we've got Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, but there's a carver coming from Virginia. There's one coming from Delaware. So they are top notch carvers and we're excited to have them. And so it's a two day event. And so each day, each carver will carve um, three pieces, so it'll be a total of 36 pieces that they'll have after this two-day event's over. And the best part about it is that on Saturday, the 28th, people can come and there'll be a live auction at 3 p.m. So they'll be able to actually come and buy the pieces that they have watched transform from literally a log into just masterpiece. That is awesome. So, I mean, it really is kind of double uh, the value because you've witnessed this artist yourself right. make this piece. And so live auction that day, is there anything else in the auction or is this is this is it? So it'll just be those 36 okay. pieces that they have carved over those two days. Now, if you come like on Friday and want to take a piece of chainsaw carving home, they will have um, smaller pieces available at their tents that the carvers can sell right. throughout those two days. But the grand finale will be 3 p.m. and that's when the, their big carving masterpieces will be up on the block. Can people commission them for something? Let's say you have a piece of property and you want to you know, something for that particular piece. Yeah. Well, can you hire them then yeah. to come and, in? Yeah, um, and all of, like, they're all individual carvers. So, like, I know the one that we're working with um, is Glowing Jacks out of, um, right in Owensboro. And so I know they go to, like, the farmer's market in Owensboro on the weekends. And so they're available for commissions. It'll be something to see, that is for sure. Mm -hmm. How do people kind of connect with you about, because oh, you're all, you know, Madisonville, Hopkins County, you're bringing the activities mm -hmm. to see the, all the events coming up. Yes, ma'am. So always something fun going on there, especially once we get into the fall season. It seems like the calendar is just packed, um, which is good. It encourages people to come and stay for multiple events while they're there. So that's what we like to see. Um, but all events are listed on our website. Visit madisonvilleky.com. And then we also are very good about putting events and event information out on our Facebook page, Hopkins County Tourism. Hopkins County Tourism. So much going on over there in, in Mad City, as Ron likes to call it. <laughs> so check it out next weekend. You will be glad you did. Thanks. Good to see you all, as always, Colby. Thank you. We'll be right back with more local lifestyles right after this message. Stick around.